one of the most influential yet controversial street artists in the world. Now an extremely rare collection of Banksy's works will be displayed in the UK for the first time. More than £30 million worth of art will be on show at the Art of Banksy exhibition in London and uh, Tim Muffet has been to take a look. Provocative. Witty. Challenging. Unique. I believe he is our modern day Warhol. The art of Banksy, brought together on a scale never seen before in the UK. He started life as a graffiti artist in Barton Hill in Bristol. And then in the late 90s he moved to London. When he moved to London, he started moving his works from the wall onto canvases and onto paper. These are all iconic pieces of work that were produced between 1998 and 2008. 30 years after his images first appeared around Bristol, Banks's identity remains a mystery. It's been reported, but never confirmed, that his real name is Robin Gunningham. What's undisputed is that his art has increased in value by an astronomical amount. When these pieces were originally done, if you're talking a print, unsigned, they were £10. Signed, they were £30. Canvases, they were £250. What are they worth now? Now these canvases are worth £10, £15 million. Pounds. Banks has described the art world as a rest home for the overprivileged, pretentious and weak. He hasn't authorised this exhibition, although it has already proved popular abroad. This exhibition had already made its way across the world, from Toronto to Tel Aviv, from Amsterdam to Auckland, when it had been due to open in London last year. But then the pandemic struck. I think for the nation as a whole, to have the ability to get back into galleries and not be starved of, of culture, I think it's a massive deal. Yeah. Much of Banks's work is older than Katia and David, who are both art students. You lived in New York. Street art, for many people, is associated with New York. And yet Banksy, a British guy from Bristol, made it a global thing. What do you make of that? Americans are so used to graffiti that that is kind of pushed to the back. It's a background kind of element. So when Banksy starts making this art that is street art, but also connected to a political sort of agenda, it moves it to the forefront. What Banksy really does, he is uh, challenging the art world structures and dogmas, and we as our students can be inspired. Street art's move to the mainstream continues. Mural festivals are regularly held across the UK. Walls and buildings are often seen as blank canvases. Now, you know, everyone wants a, a wall painted in his business or in his house. And back in the day, it was vandalism. Was it Banksy who brought about that change? I think that he was one of the main reasons that that happened. But with all the money that he had made, his relevance in the street is a little bit less. To many, he's the most recognised artist of his generation, yet one whose identity remains unclear. Banksy, as captivating, eye-catching and mysterious as ever. Tim Muffet, BBC News. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's chat now to Professor Paul Goff, who's an expert in Banksy's works, and street artist Paul Stone, aka My Dog Size. Uh, great to have you both on the programme. Good morning to you both. Uh, Professor, let's come to you first of all. Uh, I wonder what um, the person himself, what Banksy would think of all this. Banksy's very, very uh, upset by all these travelling shows. Uh, I think he really doesn't like it at all. He distanced himself from it. In fact, if you go on his website, he has 28 images of uh, these exhibitions around the world. And I saw it when I was in Melbourne. I've seen it in Europe. And against each of them, he has the word fake. And against each of them, he has the price of the ticket because Banksy does not charge for exhibitions. So I think there's a real kind of a schism here in terms of Banksy really kind of upset that people are making a buck on the back of his work. Um, that's really interesting. Um, Paul Stone, so he, um, just talk a little bit, from your point of view as an artist, how influential has he been on you and how important? I, I suppose I wouldn't be here as a street artist if it wasn't for the kind of the Banksy effect of what was happening with street art. 
um, you have that kind of the idea that um, graffiti was mindless vandalism, and uh, he's definitely moved the idea that art can be more than more than just that, and it can open people's eyes to the spaces they live around them. Um, and I think, Paul Stone, that you were um, were you offered to be able to buy a Banksy at some stage. <laughs> well, back back in the day, we used to go along to the exhibitions, and yeah, there was a print on the wall for a hundred quid, and. Um, I stupidly made the decision not to pick them up. My <laughs> friend did, but yeah, I, um, yeah, it would have been nice to have uh, picked them up. But at the time, he was another street artist that was doing stencils, and you know, you made your decision on who you bought. And yeah, I kick myself regularly. Yeah, uh, Professor Paul, to come back to you. I mean, there's still so much uh, speculation about who he actually is. You've studied him for a long time. Do you know? Um, people ask me that all the time, and I they say, "Have you met him?" And I say, "Well, how would I know?" Uh, and I think that. We're obsessed by the whodunit in this country. We're obsessed by identity and celebrity. Banksy's turned his back on all of that, not least because he wants the art, as Paul was saying, to make the meaning. He wants the art to come first. And he's really not interested in his personal identity. Of course, uh, you know, you could say it's a big marketing game, but actually I think one of the things that interests Banksy is the fact that he stays outside the law, so he's got his street cred, but he also makes a living as an artist, so he's got his kind of credit in the bank. And that, well, that difference between being credible and being having credit is really important to him. But he's not interested in outing. He's not interested in the, the kind of the cheap veneer of celebrity. And I, I think it's a really commendable place to be because then the work has to carry its own message. Um, Paul Stone, do you know who he is? Um, I'd like to think at some point maybe I shared a beer with him, but I don't know what he looks like. And so... Um, I have no idea. Uh, that's so interesting, isn't it? And within your sort of community, do you? I mean, do, do you talk about him? Do you try and get to the bottom of it? What's it like? Uh, I think he's a, he's kind of omnipresent, really, isn't he? We we we, we know he exists. We know his work exists. We, it's very much out in the public sphere, uh, and we as artists are keeping an eye on what he's doing, as well as kind of working on our own projects. Professor, do you think he'll ever reveal himself? Um, judging by what you've just said to us, probably not. No, I think not. And I think he likes to play that because actually he wants the work to work for itself, for the public. And what I find upsetting about so much of the shows and so much of the sort of the razzmatazz we're seeing at the moment is that the, the Banksy works in the public domain for the public. So a piece that he does in Nottingham or in Weston or in Hull is meant for public consumption and public pleasure. When it's taken off the wall and stuck in exhibitions, it's a bit like domesticating a wild animal and I think that you know I think we should enjoy Banksy for what he gives back to us all instead of seeing it in behind a turnstile. Um, Paul Stone you've been doing um, what turning a is it a warehouse into a street art what have you been up to? Um, yeah so um, it's been nice painting murals and working in the street and using the street as a kind of uh, uh, a way of, uh, of playing with the environment I wanted to push that a little bit further so now I've taken over uh, um, at the moment I'm um, I can't imagine where it is, a location somewhere in the city of Portsmouth. Right. Uh, and I've been turning the street art into uh, a, an immersive installation. That idea that instead of just looking at one flat mural, um, I can create something that everyone can step into and explore and experience um, in, in the whole, in the round. Excellent. Okay, uh, Paul Stone, Professor Paul Goff, both. Thank you very much indeed. Intriguing. And uh, he might not like it, but the Art of Banksy exhibition opens tomorrow in central London. That is it from us on Breakfast Today. Charlie and Naga will be here from tomorrow from 6. Time now for Rip Off Britain Live. Thanks, Stan and Louise, and welcome to the midpoint in our special live week of Rip Off Britain.